Hi, I'm Naisha. You probably know what this video is about already since you've clicked on it, but this is the portfolio that I submitted for my BA Fine Art. Oof, the background noise was interesting to say the least. This is a quick recap. You can completely skip this if you want to, but I did my foundation from UAL Camberwell last year and this was the video for it. A lot of you seem to find it helpful, so which is why we're doing this all over again. Uh, but the portfolio that I will be showing you in this video was accepted by Kingston for Fine Arts and Camberwell for Painting. Right now I'm doing painting in Camberwell. Today was my first day actually. Okay, let's get on with the video and I will just scooch over to this side so you can see my art there. So before we start, I just wanted to uh, let you know that all of my art in this portfolio is very recent. It's from my foundation year because I could see the difference between my art in just like the previous year and I wanted to show them where my art is currently and the improvement that I've made so far. So this is my first painting which is called Movement Through Time. I ended up thrifting a frame and I thought it would be kind of fun to play with frame. I wanted to show the movement through time through art styles because that's what our brief was. So outside the golden frame it is renaissance inspired art style and inside the golden frame it's Van Gogh inspired art style and I made the golden frame by myself using resin clay and I think it was my first time playing around with 3D elements in my painting and I really enjoyed it and this is the process of making the Frame. On to the third slide. So this was like a quick project that we did in class. We were supposed to take a box and create something in it and I got inspired by the vintage TVs and I wanted to create like scenes of a movie for example inside each of them so they have like their own little worlds and my teachers really liked it so they asked me to make a couple more so that's three of them and then we were supposed to turn them into really quick sketches. So this is what it is. So this was my first ever project in painting foundation. These were really teeny weeny paintings. They were um, recycled pieces of wood. I had a couple ideas, so I ended up making like a little series of all three ideas included. So the first one is a small painting, which is like a realism painting but because of the illusion i wanted to make it look like there's a glitch i feel like the neons in this painting really brought out um the oranges <laughs> well i could have never imagined i'd be like an art student like this but i love it i absolutely love it the second one was play on scale um because it's scale and illusion so this was the scale part of it where i thought imagine if just regular teeny mini living things just increase in sizes um, and human just like stayed the same, what would we do? And I just thought it would be funny if we could just like ride them along. <laughs> so they were like teeny mini stick figures everywhere. And I thought it would be quite humorous to make the humans little stickmen when the rest of the animals are so realistic. <laughs> yes, this is my third one. Uh, I have always been a fan of, you know those paintings where you, if you look at them long enough, you start to notice like weird things going on. So I wanted to make my own play in it in a really teeny mini painting. Uh, and this is about like a cityscape. At first when you look at it, it just looks like a regular cityscape. But when you start to notice this one building is made of cheese and there's like a random birthday cake there. There's like a post-it note. Things going on that only people who focus on it long enough can notice. Okay, so the next painting was supposed to be an inspiration from poem. I unfortunately don't remember what poem I took inspiration from, but the name is Longing, so I'm assuming something to do with it. So I don't know if you watched the movie La La Land, but this scene is from it. And I thought, imagine if that couple, one of them was like longing for the other, which is why one of them is like invisible. It's sort of just like up to the viewer and what they want to think of it. The, the lamp like continues on the side of the painting, kind of looks really cool. <laughs> the reason why I did that was I just didn't have enough space in the painting. I'm so sorry, it is extremely hot right now. You're gonna have to listen to a noise coming from outside. Okay, my next painting was supposed to be inspired by a music piece. So I chose this piece of music. I actually forgot what it is, but hopefully my future me has found it. And it is from La La Land as well. I really just squeezed out as much of an inspiration as I could from this movie for these paintings, but Honestly, I really enjoyed the movie, so... But I played that music on repeat until I sort of painted a picture in my head of what I thought about as I was listening to it. And then I made my friend pose. That little dude sitting over there is my friend. <laughs> I made him um, pose on a video call and took a screenshot. He was my model for this painting, so thank you, Nevin. 
you know how I said I really squeezed out that inspiration from that movie? I really did because this scene is also from La La Land uh, and the reason why it's called the beginning and the end is because well this scene specifically is from like the end of the movie. I did a terrible job explaining it but the story of these two people starts with him playing the piano with the spotlight on him and it ends with him playing the piano with the spotlight on him. That's the beginning and the end. <laughs> So we went to an art exhibition and this was one of the paintings that was already up and for some reason like the colors just pulled me to the painting and I immediately started sketching it out um, made a quick oil pastel study now I don't have that picture anymore and I don't know who the artist was or what the painting is called anymore which I've tried looking so if anyone knows please let me know in the comments but I absolutely love that painting so much and my sketch does no justice to it whatsoever but I think it was still like a quick cool thing that I made on the spot so I wanted to put it in here since a lot of my art in this portfolio is two-dimensional I wanted to add the sculpture that I made as a group in my first few weeks of foundation it's called connected because we connected a lot of different elements most of them were found materials and a lot of it was just like fall in natural elements and we just put it all together and I feel like a part of me is really connected to it simply because we had to tear it down by the end of the day after spending a lot of effort in just like making it and also just finding the materials and like the ideation of it all but yeah I really like that I feel like it's a fine piece to look at and I feel like it brings out very positive vibes. You know what it reminds me of? A dream catcher. I feel like if a dream catcher was made in a natural environment, this is what it would look like. Okay, so for this, we were supposed to make a collage, which I did. And I came back home and I found that collage very fun to look at. And I thought maybe I should just use that as a reference for one of my art pieces. So this is that art piece inspired by the collage that I had made. And it's called Look Me In The Eye because that's all they have in their face. So I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> the diagram of a cell and i think that is absolutely so artistic and beautiful for no reason it is so pretty i took inspiration from that and also one of my friends is an illustration and he uses black ink with a lot of depth and yeah he also inspired me to make this so i was just sitting and noodling and eventually it turned out to this beautiful piece that i thought was worthy enough to be in my portfolio <laughs> We were told that they like looking at like the behind the scenes and sketches of your artwork. So these are a few sketches that I did at a gallery that I went to. And the next one is just like ideation of my painting. Oh, the, the, the brown painting that I made. This is the quick sketch that I had made while listening to the song. So this sketch is from this painting that was unfortunately really rushed because i had to submit my portfolio the same week where i was doing this but i'm so happy with it it is actually my first time i think i took inspiration from my culture which is insane because india is such a beautiful place and it has just so much inspiration everywhere i don't know why i just never got around like taking inspiration from there so the title of this painting is called Ek Ladki Ko Dekha to Aisa Laga which is a very common quote in bollywood and it started with this romance movie between a boy and a girl and then eventually another movie came out which was a lesbian love story titled Ek Larki Ko Dekha To Aisa Laga and I think it's very cute uh, and this was very personal to me because the first time where I used my culture and my sexual identity as an inspiration and yeah so it's just them being in love and dancing and enjoying and away from the crowd but the spotlight but the spotlight's still on them and yeah I, I absolutely love it I still have this painting with me actually but yeah, that was the end of my portfolio. God, the last time I did so much talking, I was in my last portfolio video, I swear to God. <laughs> my voice is so raspy by now, but that is the end of this video. I hope that helped. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!